Good morning, YouTubians. I just wanted to come back. Uh, well, uh, I know the last time that you saw me, I was sick as a dog and I could not speak. Uh, and I did my best so that I could let you know what was happening. I am fully recovered, although I do still have a cough. But, um, I'm sure it's because of my sinuses draining um, from the background. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get rid of the mucus that builds up inside of my head once and for all. Anyway, um, I wanted to come back and chat with you about some of the things that are happening in the media these days. And um, how, you know, everybody's getting busted for sexual harassment. And it's, you know, really weird to me because, you know, men have been sexually harassing women for ever. Uh, it used to run rampant in the military. Uh, when I was a young E3 in the military, <laughs> uh, it was always somebody coming at me talking about you going to do blah, 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 or else. I'm going to tell you the difference. I'm a Philly girl. You're not going to walk up to me and tell me you going to do what, whatever. <laughs> so I never tolerated that behavior. I do know that there were some young girls because I was, what, uh, 18 years old when I went into the military. And I was self-assured, you know, as a, as a young woman. You, you couldn't punk me into doing no crap I didn't want to do. Um, and so, and I wasn't ever willing to bargain for what it was that I want. I'd rather shit. I'd rather die. I'd rather, you know, do something else than to, to break down and do what it was that you wanted me to do uh, for a piece of behind. That's not getting ready to go down. Uh, so, but the difference, again, the difference was that there were a lot of young girls out there who were not self-assured. And it, it scared them. It took a lot to scare me. Um, so, <laughs> you, the thing, when a person like that is, is coming at you, you know, one of the things that they go for is fear. They, they're trying to scare you into giving them what they want. And, <laughs> you know, it, it took a lot to scare me. And so, you know, I'm like, I'm not doing that. And of course, yes, there are times I paid the price for not um, doing as requested. But that was fine with me. And, and the thing is, who would you tell? Uh, especially if, you, if, if your boss's boss is a man, <laughs> chances are, you know, it was collusion. Uh, he had his own shelter in the rain that he was taking care of. You know, he, he had stuff that he was doing. I didn't, I really didn't tolerate that behavior. And again, like I said, if you're a young woman, you know, this, you out in the world for the first time, this type of behavior will scare you. Or, you know, it has scared some, some young girls. And so therefore, what do they do? You know, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I don't want this to happen. You know, so they do this, they do whatever is requested of them. And the next thing you know, they're, um, they kind of like the guy, you know, you know, they think these are um, good advances. They're not. They're not good advances whatsoever. But, you know, and when the guy is done with you, he's done with you. Look, I had enough problems out of men as it was. I did not need to have that hanging on. And, you know, additionally, I remember when I worked in the corporate world, I, I had a manager, uh, my supervisor, my boss, the person who hired me. Um, I was his assistant. And I remember, you know, things happening. And uh, he was a very nice guy. And um, I remember he had fired a young lady. Uh, I can't quite remember what it was for, but, you know, he had let her go. And um, what happened, you know, he, 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 him being the type of person he was, he didn't have distrust for people, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, I told you they're going to cough. 
he didn't have this trust for people. And so, you know, for lack of a better word, I was his butt shark. And when he was, you know, going into meetings, uh, he closed the door. No, 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 I'm coming in with you. And I explained to him, you're not going to have a closed door meeting with no woman because this will get you in trouble. Uh, she could say you did or said anything behind closed doors. You know, so a lot of times, and I remember when he hired me, he said, keep me out of jail. <laughs> and so that's what I did. I kept his ass out of jail, especially when it came to that. There was no private meetings with women. There was no meetings that he would have with the door closed. Any private woman meetings that he had, he had with me. Okay. And for as far as I was concerned, I'm I'm trustworthy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna claim sexual harassment. I'm a I'ma chop your shit off right at the top. That way, when you come at me, I'm gonna come at you. Okay. That was the kind that that's the kind of person I am. Um, you're not going to sexually harass me and think you, sexual harassment is about power. And if you think you got power over me, then that's what you're going to do. And that's what was happening. That's what's happening in a lot of these cases, you know, um, in, in, in Hollywood, you know, the person's got power. You go, if you want this part, you'll do blah, 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 you know, uh, in, in business. If you want this job, you'll do X, Y, Z. I'm not afraid of that. I'll go get me another job. But anyway, you know, there's a lot of men out there who's exerting their power over women and basically saying, if you do X, Y, Z, um, you'll get to keep your job. You'll get this part. Whatever it is that you're going into, it is that they're dangling this piece of power. They, they have this power over you and they're dangling the thing that you want most in front of you so that you'll do what it is that they want. And if it don't matter to you, whether you get that thing or not, then you good. You won't be sexually harassed. Okay? There are other ways to harass you. Don't get it twisted. And people have made my life a living hell uh, with other types of harassment. But you know what? Like it is often said, that which does not kill you makes you stronger. And I've had to deal with a whole lot of, a whole lot of stuff that didn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make me stronger? It made me more jaded. It made me more suspicious of the world around me. I didn't trust people like that. And to this day, you know, um, um, I don't trust people around my grandchildren. You know, I don't trust people around my grandchildren. Because, uh, I, I mean, I got two little granddaughters. And... Um, you know, I always say to my son, don't, whatever you do, you know, you, you try to make things work with your wife. If you have an issue, y'all work that mess out because you don't want nobody to have access to your daughters and you're nowhere around. I already know you. If anything happens to your daughters, you're going to kill someone. And so, and so, uh, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, he hears me. He you knows when, when young people is trying to get their life, you know, the children are, the children are sometimes in the way. And, you know, young mothers give men access to their babies before they should. They don't know nothing about these men. And they give these men access to their the babies and you got some, you got some, you got some pissy men out there. You got some really sad excuse for men out there. Um, but I wonder what they're going to do about Bill Cosby now, because now, you know, they, they only had one sacrificial lamb. Now they got a whole bunch of them. Bill Cosby, Matt Lauer, Kevin, was it Kevin? No, uh, Russell Simmons, um, you know. Let me tell you something, and I'm going to be honest with you, and they're not done, okay? Uh, these women are spilling the, the truth about what happened because they're older now and they're more confident in, in who they are, and they say, I'm going to tell it. <laughs> so that's what they're doing. They are telling it. I mean, you know, the, the fallout from this thing, that people are uh, really, uh, they're getting fired flat out. You know, they're getting fired for stuff they did 20 years ago. 
know, and I know it's meant to let them know that um, this behavior will not be tolerated from yesterday or today. Uh, but people have to learn their lesson. Now, listen, women sexually harass too. You know, they 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 do stuff too. I've seen it firsthand in the military. You know, uh, but they do it differently. You know, uh, it's shameful still. It's shameful. And they do it because they have power over a person. You do so and so and so and so, or, um, you know, you won't be able to take leave. Oh, you want to take leave? Okay, well, this. Now, does it happen today? Mm, I don't know. I can't see it happen. Quite frankly, I can't. I can't see women really doing it today but I did see them do it way back when I did see it, see I did see it happening way back when you know and calling some baby sugar or baby or sweetie is that sexual harassment it's only sexual harassment if the person told you don't call me baby and you keep doing it <laughs> okay but I think that you need to have a chance and told, you have to be told first, don't do X, Y, Z. No, I don't want to go out with you. No, I don't want to, you know, no, I'm not interested in you. And you keep coming at me, pow, pow, I'm going to get you, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to come back and let you know that I'm healthy. I wish I could say I was wealthy. And I believe I am very wise. Um, I did not die, although I thought I was going to. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to get ready because my granddaughter will be here shortly. Um, I'm going to be very sad come the end of the month because I think I told you before that um, my son and his wife are moving to Arizona. And um, I'm going to miss them. On the other side of that, I'm going to be a grandmama again, you guys. I'm going to be a grandmama again. So uh, this little boo-boo is due in June. So I'll keep you posted as to, you know, what's happening. He's excited. Um, of course, you know, bringing a new life into the world is never a mistake. God knows uh, what's happening. You might not know, but God knows. I'm happy I'm going to be a grandmother. Uh, that's a, another sweet little baby, the young lady that he is with. Uh, is a beautiful young lady. She's sweet all through and through, you know, kind soul. And I can't imagine a woman that's not kind being with my youngest son because he he is a very kind and laid back individual. Um, you've seen him before on, on a few of my videos way back when. Um, but <clears throat> I believe that he'll be an excellent papa. But I want to thank you all for keeping the sister strong. And I really appreciate um, you guys hanging in there. I want to welcome my new subscribers and um, all the other folks that have wished me well, especially all the way out there in Scotland. Um, thank you so much for checking in on me and making sure that I was okay. Um, I have been able to answer, you know, um, messages that have come to me. So, um, and I'll be talking to you guys really soon. You know, if you were just dropping by and you've never been here before, I'm going to ask you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it, which is something that I never say, but I'm going to say it. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I will talk to you soon in my next video. Until we meet again, take care.